Here's one example of a callout in Blender, showing a zoomed in area on the drawing. The callout displays a close up of the base and clip over here in this space. These are useful for drawings, infographics, or any type of design work. For this example, I'll start with this portico model. So, first, I'll press F12 to render the image. We'll use this image, but you can use a more zoomed in version, but this one will work fine. Let's save it quickly. This can be saved as a PNG or any other format. Now save it. Next we can press Shift plus the right mouse button to place the 3D cursor here. Press Shift plus A and from the mesh menu let's add a circle. In the options let's increase the resolution to 128 to ensure the circle doesn't have jagged edges in the final render. Rotate it to face the camera by setting the X rotation to 90. Now tab into edit mode. At the top switch to vertex selection. Press A to select all vertices, then press F to create a face. Scale this down to about the size you want, maybe something like this. Press I to inset and create a border on this object. Then let's switch to face select mode. Alt and left click to select the border. In the material tab let's add a new material. Then let's rename it callout. Click the plus icon to add a second material slot. Create another new material. Now rename this border. Since the border faces are selected, click assign so those faces are assigned to this material. In the color swatch let's set this to a grey color. At the top let's switch to the UV editing tab. To isolate the object press the forward slash key. Then let's move to a side view. And just make sure we're in an orthographic view since the unwrap will be project from view. Then press A to select all vertices. Press U to bring up the unwrap menu and from here select project from view. Next we can switch to the shading tab. Ensure the callout material is active. From the add menu under texture let's add an image texture node. Drop it into the shader editor and connect up its color output to the base color input on the material. Then we just need to open the image we just rendered. Find this here, select it, now open image. Now let's return to the UV editing tab. Press Z and switch to material preview. In the UV editor press S to scale the UVs. To see the imported image selected from the drop down in the UV editor. This lets you precisely position the UVs. Move and rescale them to the desired position on the texture. Then let's return to the layout tab. Scale and position the object to finalize it before rendering. Finally to create a line from the callout to its corresponding position on the drawing, select the curve object. Press shift plus D to duplicate it and drag it to the desired location. Adjust this curve to connect the callout to the relevant area. When everything is in place press F12 to render the scene. That's it, this process effectively creates a clear and detailed callout for your designs.